a very good evening all of you so i had shared a very interesting question with all of you from stereochemistry and if you want to see more such uh, questions like if you like this question and you like the concept behind the question uh 15 more questions are available for your practice all are new questions none of them are previous year questions so if you want more questions for practice i have given you the link to the video down in the description box just click that video and watch now coming back to this question over here so the question was that among these five molecules that i have shown in front of your screen how many of them are optically active so um, among these uh, three molecules are going to be act optically active that is this one over here uh, then this and then this okay these two over here are optically inactive so um, let us discuss these all three uh, might be new to you so let me just quickly discuss what kind of chirality do they possess so this might still be very apparent this uh, structure number c that is the sandwich compound the ferrocene uh, substituted ferrocene so over here this molecule lacks any kind of plane of symmetry nor does it have any kind of center of symmetry so this molecule over here is optically inactive uh, sorry optically active right now when you come to structure number a this is an example of helical chirality okay this is an example of helical chirality now you might be wondering how is it so see um if you remember in helical chirality um you have generally five or six fused rings and they are not planar okay so we generally denote them by p or m configuration there was a question also in the december 2019 examination regarding helical chirality all right um so in this question um this is a cycloheptene okay like a cy cycloheptene substituent so what happens over here is like cycloheptenes are qu quite flexible and due to these bulky groups present over here that is the uh, you know the ester group present over here and the methyl group over here these systems kind of like are not planar okay like if, if these two systems might look to you like planar but one of them because of this uh, flexibility of the cycloheptene and due to these two bulky groups present over here um it kind of like it's not planar these two rings are not planar one ring is above and one ring is below so this molecule also has some kind of helical chirality associated with it because of which it becomes optically active now what about these um trialkyl boranes or triphenyl boranes so um these molecules also possess um uh, uh, chirality and these are propeller shaped molecules like for um coordination compounds we you must have um, you know heard about propeller shape cobalt ethylene diamine whole thrice right so these kind of molecules like in coordination compounds are optically active similarly this molecule this borane is also optically active provided we have bulky groups attached at this x position at this y position and at the z position okay so this is also one of the um maybe this concept might be new to you that these are these molecules are propeller shaped in case you want to know more about these molecules um i have um taken a screenshot of a wonderful research article tri aryl boranes okay so you can go ahead and read this article if you want if you're interested in knowing more about it so these two are going to be optically active and this one is as well optically active so the correct answer for this question was three okay and when you come to these two structure both of them are alenes okay this over here is a planar alene okay this one over here is planar in nature because you can see there are three double bonds so when there are odd number of double bonds present um then that particular alene is planar okay so this is going to be a planar alene and you can see since it's a planar molecule it will be optically inactive because it will have a plane of symmetry present whereas if we consider this molecule over here um in this case even though it is non-planar but we have two similar substituents attached at the terminal end of this carbon so like for example when we generally try to find the absolute configuration we give the priority like one over here two over here but then when we come to these two hydrogens it will be impossible for us to give the priority and this molecule also possesses a plane of symmetry because of which it will become optically inactive so that is why the correct answer for this question is three anyhow i hope you found this video helpful if you did uh, please give me a big thumbs up please give this video a big thumbs up and uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel please um, consider subscribing to it so that you get notifications for all the frequent uh, videos that i keep uploading on this particular channel and uh, thank you for watching and supporting me always uh, really grateful and I will see you in the next video really soon. I'm teaching live on the Unacademy platform in the CSR UGC net category where I'm taking both the free classes as well as the paid courses. So if you want to get access to the free classes, all you have to do is download the Unacademy app and when joining the CSI UGC net category, you have to use the unlock code that is SETHI. This is absolutely free of cost and you will get access to all my classes. While if you want to take the paid subscription or the plus subscription, 
there is a subscription fee for that and if you want some discount on the subscription fee you can use the referral code SETHI this will give you 10% discount on top of that you will also get access to the my whatsapp group where I frequently post a lot of updates related to exams and other things in addition with the plus subscription what all benefits you are going to get well you can watch all my sessions apart from that you can watch other sessions that are um, available from other educators in the CSI UGC net category you will also get a frequent mock test for the examination for your practice and some doubt solving sessions as well so if you are interested in joining the plus platform you can definitely check out the free classes first and then take a decision to take the plus classes do not forget to use these referral codes uh, this will give you a discount for the plus subscription and this code you have to use when you're joining the app to get access to all my free classes